Hi everyone and welcome to the practice number 9 in our course Implement Active Data Guard and Snapshot Standby Database In this practice you will enable the Active Data Guard option and create Snapshot Standby Database We will make no changes on our Data Guard configuration the specifications are the same as the specifications of the data guard configuration that we configured in practice number 3. In this practice, you will work on the same appliances that we created in practice number 3. Configure the broker. You don't have to make a copy of them. This practice is divided into two phases. First, you will enable the Active Data Guard option in our Data Guard configuration. Secondly, you will convert the physical standby database to a snapshot standby database. To get your environment ready for this practice, just open the appliances that you created in the practice number 3. No need to work on a copy of them. Start up the appliances and their databases. As usual, I just started the appliances and their databases and created two putty sessions to connect to both of them. Let's check the broker configuration status. Check the status of the Redo Apply. Start it up if it is not already running. In my case, it was already running. I didn't need to run the command. After that, it is advisable to start a monitoring session to the alert log file in SRV2. I don't think you will find any issue with doing that. We have got our environment ready. It's time to enable the Active Data Guard option. First, you have to stop the Redo Apply. Open the database in open mode. And start the Redo Apply. If you check the status of the standby database, you can see that the real-time query is turned on now. Let's test the active data guard operation now. You will create a table in the primary database, insert a row in it, and check it out in the standby database. As you see, the table has been replicated to the standby database while the standby database is in open status. After enabling the real-time query, check the apply lag in the environment. At this point of time, the lag is zero. Insert a new record in the table and observe when it will be visible in the standby database. The row becomes visible in the standby database almost immediately. To clean up what you have done, Drop the created testing object.
In the second phase of this practice, you will create a snapshot standby database. First, you have to stop the redo apply. Mount the standby database. Convert the physical standby database to a snapshot standby database. The show configuration command is showing that the AuraDB underscore S2 database is now a snapshot standby database. Verify the database role and mode. The database role is snapshot standby and its open mode is read write. To verify that the snapshot database is opened for read write operations, create a testing table and insert a row in it. Observe the last redo sequence generated by the primary database and verify that this redo has been received by the standby database. The sequence number of the last redo file generated by the primary database is 530. The RFS process has received the redo of sequence number 530. So, while the snapshot database is there, the standby database is still receiving the redo from the primary database. Convert the snapshot standby database back to a physical standby database. The show configuration command is showing that the AuraDB underscore S2 database is now a physical standby database. We have seen in this practice how easy it is to enable the active data guard option and to create a snapshot standby database. We have learned that when the active data guard is enabled, you can have the standby database opened for normal users for read-only operations while the redo is being sent and applied. We have also learned that you can create a snapshot from the physical standby database and apply read-write operations on it. Shutting down the system is as always straightforward. You stop the redo apply, stop the databases, and shut down the appliances. Thanks for attending the session. See you in the next lecture.